not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. Michael! Oh, that's funny. Michael! You, sir. No, well, thank you. I never let anyone walk behind me. Seven out of ten attacks are from the rear. Okay, well, that still leaves a 30% chance that I'll attack you from the front. Uh, yeah, but it'll be easier to stop. I can always block the blow, or I can counter it with... I didn't do it! Okay. Everybody just calm down. Count of three, we're all going to put down our guns. I have crossbows. We'll put down our weaponry on the count of three. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. One, two, two, three. three. Yeah! Thanks. Playing a little hooky from work today. I'm really looking forward to sitting down with you and finding out more about what you do here. Anytime. Yeah. What do you do here? Excuse me. What is wrong with this woman? She's asking about stuff that's nobody's business. What do I do? Really, what do I do here? I mean, I should have written it down. Qua something. Uh, qua. Qua. Quabity, Quabity Ashwins. No, 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 but I'm getting close. Think about this. What is the most exciting thing that can happen on TV or in movies or in real life? Somebody has a gun. That's why I always start with a gun, because you can't top it. You just can't. <laughs> Detective Michael's car! I'm with the FBI! <laughs> Michael Schoon, FBI. You know what you did. Boo! Boo! Yeah, you thought you could get away with your little ruse, didn't you? Didn't you? Well, you did. Because I know where you hid the diamonds. I've been on to you and your little friends for weeks. It wasn't me. Now, check out time is never. Does my room have cable? No. And the sheets are made of fire. Can I change rooms? Sorry, we're all booked up. Hell convention in town. Can I have a late checkout? I'll have to talk to the manager. You're not the manager, even in your own fantasy? I'm the owner. The co owner. With Satan. Okay. Just so I understand it, in your wildest fantasy, you are in hell, and you are co-running a bed and breakfast with the devil. Yeah, but I haven't told you my salary yet. Go. Eighty thousand dollars a year. Come on, Dwight, we talked about this. No, Toby, this is different. He's already dead. Do you need some help? I can't decide what to get. Well, what do you like to eat? Well, I like pretzels, but I really like chips. Hmm. Well, how much money do you have there? 55, 65, okay, you have 75 cents. That means you could get anything up in the top row.
Okay, team building. On this side of the room, Stanley, Phyllis, Jim, Ted, Elroy. And on this side of the room, Pam, Meredith, Phyllis, Creed. He never called a meeting. Ed was decapitated. Why? Really? He was drunk as a skunk. He was flying down Route 6. He slides under an 18-wheeler. Pop, it snaps right off. Oh, my God. That is the way to go. Instant death. Very smart. You know, a human can go on living for several hours after being decapitated. You're thinking of a chicken. What did I say? Toby Flenderson is doing drugs. What about you, Kevin? What about you and your fake task? Can you tell me now where paper comes from? Uh, the man tree puts its penis. Okay, all right. Andy, back me up here, please. No. What? No! Hey, cuz, heard you're having money problems. No, you didn't. Listen, I got the answer. You declare bankruptcy, all your problems go away. How would that help, Creed? In Monopoly, you go bankrupt, you lose. You don't go by Monopoly, man. That game is nuts. Nobody just picks up get-out-of-jail-free cards. Those things cost thousands. That is a good point. Bankruptcy, Michael, is nature's do-over. It's a fresh start. It's a clean slate. I declare bankruptcy! Take me home, country road, to the place I belong, West Virginia, Mount Mama. Pick it in there. You have to stop.